processing food for the winter. And the food they're processing is the camas lily or wild hyacinth, Camasia saloides. Camas lily really likes damp ground. Unfortunately, livestock destroy it. So most of central Texas, we see it in bar ditches and so on, rather than in fields like this now. Um, it pops up for about 10 days in the spring with a blue star-shaped flower, and it's got a flower bulb on the other end of it. If you look back towards the creek, you'll see there's a stone wall that was put there in the 1800s to keep the creek on that side of the valley. But you can also see off of the midden here, there's two swales. You see those two dips before you get to the stone wall. That's where the stream likes to go when it isn't over there. And uh, that was really damp. It's really damp now because we're pumping down into it over here. You can see this bit of a swamp and all the way down. You see our neighbor's property, how low that is? There was probably a huge patch of camas all the way along here and really nice damp ground. And what they're doing is they're digging up their flower bulb, but there's a bit of a problem with it. So that flower bulb, the primary ingredient in it is a chemical called inulin. And inulin is a complex carbohydrate that your body can't process. They sell it at health food stores as roughage. It's like eating an SOS pad, because what goes in comes out. Your body can't do anything with it. The best your body can do with inulin is methane and hydrogen, neither of which are usually things we want to be producing. <laughs> so uh, Lewis and Clark on their expedition, because people were using camas from here in central Texas all the way up to the Pacific Northwest, they were given a big basket of uh, camas bulbs at one point. It's one of, I think, their most interesting journal entries. Most of them are, you know, paddled 30 miles less than people that didn't try and kill us. This one is three pages long, because I'm not sure if they misunderstood the instructions or if somebody went, <laughs> watch this. And they started eating them and said, oh, they're a little bit like wild onions. Not too bad. And they followed that up with salmon jerky, a natural laxative. <laughs> this three-page entry is really graphic and makes blazing saddles look wimpy. <laughs> they thought they were dying. They figured that they'd leave a record of it so somebody else could get revenge for them. And the next couple of days, the entries are kind of like, pedal to mile, had to pull over. <laughs> pedal to mile, had to pull over. Yeah, okay, but real clean after that. So. so early on, somebody realized that what you really need to do is heat that inulin up. What they do is they gather all those bulbs, they bring them up to higher ground, they dig big holes. Archaeologically, we find ones like this. Sometimes they're six and seven feet across. You line them with rock. We got lots of slabs like that up top, right? So you take these slabs, you line it just like this one. And this one was actually built by some kids from the University of Exeter in England. And, I, and after they had lined it and everything and they were getting ready to light a fire, I came over and said, no, 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 it's, you know, six feet across. And they said, we're going to experimentally cook a turkey. So turkey, whole turkey. <laughs> they pushed the easy button on me. So that's all the bigger this one got. But you line it with rocks. You build a big fire in there. You let it burn down to coals. You put all your camas bulbs in. You put a bunch of grass or weeds, doesn't matter, just stuff from the area over the top of that, put the dirt back over and wait 30 hours. Well, waiting 30 hours watching a smoking pile of dirt is probably really boring, right? So around these things, we find hearths, and people are cooking rabbits and turkeys and deer, the usual suspects in the Edwards Plateau, and they're flitnapping like there's no tomorrow, right? They're making all the tools they're gonna need for the winter. And this is not clay like we find in the valleys here in Texas. If you even pinch some of this soil, you'll find it's a highly organic soil. It's actually greasy when it's wet. It has a lot of animal fats in it. So you drop something in this when it's dry too. Believe me, it just disappears. This is just dusty, fine dust on the top. It just disappears in there. So there's a lot of tools here. That's why all these guys wanted to pay to dig here. You dig in a midden, there's lots of stuff. And after 30 hours, you open this thing up, the inulin in those bulbs turns to sugars. It becomes something actually good for you. And then you let them cool, you grind them up, you make a flour out of them, and you can make a flatbread, cakes, you can use it as a thickener in stews, things like that. It's actually something good for you. So you just keep doing that over and over. 